eSIM adapters work by essentially acting as a bridge between your phone and the eSIM technology. Here's a breakdown of the technical details, how it works, physical connection. The adapter is a small device that physically fits into your phone's SIM card slot, just like a regular SIM card. eSIM profile storage. The adapter contains a chip that can store one or more eSIM profiles. These profiles contain the necessary information to connect to a cellular network, just like a physical SIM card. Communication. When you want to use an eSIM, you download the eSIM profile to the adapter via a companion app on your phone. The adapter then communicates with your phone as if it were a regular SIM card, providing the necessary information to connect to the network. Key Features Compatibility eSIM adapters are designed to work with phones that don't have built-in eSIM support. This allows you to use eSIM plans on older devices, multiple profiles. Some adapters can store multiple eSIM profiles allowing you to switch between different carriers or plans easily. Convenience eSIM adapters offer the convenience of eSIM technology, such as easy switching between plans and no need for physical SIM cards. Benefits Flexibility Use eSIM plans on phones that don't support them natively. Cost-effective eSIM plans are often cheaper than traditional plans. Travel-friendly Easily switch between local eSIM plans when traveling abroad. Before you start using eSIM adapters, there are a few important considerations to keep in mind. First, the quality and reliability of the eSIM adapter can significantly affect its performance. Second, you will typically need to use a companion app to manage eSIM profiles on the adapter. And lastly, while adapters are designed to work with most phones, there might be compatibility issues with certain models. Overall, eSIM adapters provide a convenient way to use eSIM technology on phones that don't have built-in support. eSIM adapters offer flexibility, cost-effectiveness, and travel-friendly features. However, it's important to choose a reputable adapter and consider potential compatibility issues. How these adapters work. It's not magic, it's clever programming. Here's how the spoofing happens programmatically. Understanding the SIM card interface. Phones communicate with SIM cards using a set of standardized commands and protocols. This is defined by the ISO IEC 7816 standard. These commands allow the phone to read information from the SIM like the IMSI, perform authentication using the KI, manage phone book entries, SMS messages, and so on. The microcontroller in the eSIM adapter runs a small program or firmware that's designed to mimic the behavior of a regular SIM card. This firmware implements the ISO IEC 7816 protocols. It can receive commands from the phone and respond in a way that the phone expects. When your phone sends a command to the SIM card slot, expecting to talk to a SIM, the adapter's firmware intercepts that command. The firmware then analyzes the command and, based on the active eSIM profile stored in its memory, generates a response that looks like it's coming from a real SIM card. For example, if the phone asks for the IMSI, the adapter's firmware retrieves the IMSI from the active eSIM profile and sends it back to the phone in the format the phone expects. Key Programming Techniques Emulation The firmware emulates the behavior of a SIM card by implementing the necessary commands and data structures. Data Manipulation The firmware can manipulate data from the eSIM profile to present it to the phone in the correct format. Timing and Signaling The firmware must also handle the timing and signaling aspects of the communication to ensure it's compatible with the phone's SIM card interface. It's like a virtual SIM card. You can think of the eSIM adapter as creating a virtual SIM card in software. This virtual SIM card contains the eSIM profile and responds to the phone's commands as if it were a real SIM card. In essence, the eSIM adapter is a small computer that's programmed to impersonate a SIM card. It's a testament to the power of software and embedded systems to create clever solutions to technical challenges.